Welcome to another edition of Blending the Family, the podcast. And yes, this is Tommy Maloney broadcasting, uh, podcasting from the car, car podcasting, ranting. I'm going to warn you right now, this is going to be an ugly rant. If, let me just, let me just say a few things first. If you are one of those uh, people that have to work outside, I, you you are a you, tough hombre or or whatever. How do you say a female hombrea? I don't know, but it's like nine degrees here in Colorado, nine. And I, that was a fir- one of the first things I thought of is I am very blessed that I don't have to work outside. And because I'm a wuss, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm a wuss when it comes to uh, cold weather. You ever play that? Somebody, we were playing the, the one of those uh, silly games one day. And would you rather live where it's really hot or live where it's really cold? And I think I said where it's really hot, or maybe I said really cold because I like sleeping when it's cold. I don't have a problem with that. But uh, anywho. A uh, couple other things. One of the things I used to do uh, when I first started blogging was do shout outs. And there is a book available. Yes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell. I'm going to sell right up front. I'm going to be one of those uh, assholes up front and say, oh, yeah, by the way, there's going to be some foul language because I'm in a foul mood. But uh, why not you? Why not me? Uh, find it on uh, Amazon. Uh, it's it's my ebook of a bunch of early early blogs, and I they I cringe thinking about those early blogs because I, I'm really bad. I'm a very poor editor when it comes to writing my own stuff. I used to have my wife Anne look at my stuff, and then I just I was just like I just want to get this stuff out. And she's a busy lady, super busy lady. And I just, oh, I just love writing and I just want to get it out there. And I look back at some of the early things I wrote and go, oh my gosh, you cannot spell, you don't know English. But it's what I do, right? So I want to give a couple of shout outs. So, number one, Scott C. Scott, I know you're listening. I know you're. <laughs> You're listening. So thank you, Scott. Uh, Mark, a.k.a. Lebowski, thank you as well for listening. And I'm trying to think, who else? Who else? Somebody else said they heard the podcast for the first time. Maybe it was me. Maybe I was saying that to myself. I don't know. But why am I in a foul mood? I am really good. I, I think I'm good. Okay, I think I'm good at doing this, and that is serving others, helping others. And when people come to me, and uh, on those rare occasions when when they ask for my help, my coaching advice, I think I'm pretty good at helping them. I think so. But I'm really poor, really bad, really, really stupid when taking my own advice. Okay, if you've ever heard me use the quote from Jim Rohn, essentially saying, you're not a goose. And if you haven't heard me say that before, what it means is uh, if, when it comes to winter, birds can only fly south. They, they, that's it. They can, they can only fly south. And I am just so frustrated with myself in the direction I've been going in uh, this 2018. I'm so behind on the book, the new book. My uh, title of the book is called My Dad's Advice at 5.04 a.m. I'm so behind on that. My goal is to have it done by the month of January. That's not happening. I'm pretty pissed off about that. Uh, Pretty pissed off about some stuff that's been going on at the frickin'... Oh, fucking, fucking... I told you I was going to use foul language, and, and I edited myself. Oh, my gosh. I need to stop editing myself. I need to be more me. Uh, quick story, when, when my son Connor was born, I was a stay-at-home dad, 
And in those early years, I, I was playing adult hockey. And I'd be with Connor all day and just being PC and just being a dad and go play hockey. And I would just drop fucking F-bombs here and there. And they're like, what is your problem? Like, I've been with a baby all day. I, I haven't been with any adults. And it's, it, it was funny because when I was uh, first a stay-at-home dad, I, I asked uh, some moms, give me some, some advice. And one of the moms said, what? You have to figure out a way to get a shower in. Somehow, get a shower in every single day. And what I would do is we had one of those swings. And I would put Connor in the swing and put on ESPN. Na, 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 na. And he would sit there and rock back and forth and watch ESPN. I know, it's, it's, it's a guy thing apparently, I don't know. But why am I in such a foul mood? Because I feel like a shitty ass dad. I just found out last night, well I, I, I somewhat knew. All right, uh, back story on this, this was uh, MLK weekend, Martin Luther King weekend. What a great man, what a great man. Oh, um, Nancy Duarte, I think that's who it is. Uh, I can't think of the name of her book. Anyway, she has a great book where she breaks down speeches, um, prolific speeches, including Martin Luther King's speech. And it was never titled "I Have a Dream." It's the from according to her, that's what the people called it. Anyway, so it was Martha, Martin Luther King weekend. We were in Tampa for a hockey tournament, and there's been some bug going through the hockey team and unfortunately it seemed that Connor picked it up and he started coughing he kept telling me I'm okay dad I'm okay I'm okay all right but here's where I'm a shitty ass dad I, I my gut told me I need to give him some cough medicine I need to take care of my son and I didn't do that and now he's he's been homesick and he's going to, he's missed school. He's probably gonna miss hockey practice because of me. I'm a, I'm a shitty ass dad. I, and that's probably why I'm in a foul mood is because I let my son down again, again. I, I, I just, and this, I, and this is where uh, I wrote an article recently on uh, my weekly article for the Good Men Project, talking about how my former wife still has, uh, is still renting space in my head. And this is one of those times where I know she's in my head going, you fucked up again. You're a shitty ass dad because our son is sick and it's your fault. And I, I don't know, I'm taking the full blame on this. Full blame on this. Um, Tampa, though, was a, was a fun trip, and one of the things I, I I just love to see, and this is gonna this is gonna sound really sexist, and I apologize if this sounds sexist, but majority of the kids, their dads took them to uh, this this uh, tournament. There were. I think only one, just mom and son, that went, and that's cool. That's super cool too. Having having that kind of bond, you know. I I guess it depends on the sport. You know, my wife Anne, when um, my bonus daughter Becca was in gymnastics, or even when uh, uh, Betsy, the other bonus daughter, when they were in gymnastics, Anne would take them would be the three of them and I guess maybe maybe in in that sport I don't know because I never I never went with them to uh, events that were not necessarily excuse me not necessarily out of state but out of the Denver metro area where they would have to spend uh, a weekend I believe one of their trips was up to Silverthorne, Colorado. And if you've never been to Silverthorne, I highly recommend that. 
I'm working on a new uh, article talking about talking about this Tampa trip. And previously, uh, Connor and I did a, a guy's trip. He had a tournament up in Steamboat, Colorado. And I'm not a skier, and the weather for me was perfect being a non-skier uh, that weekend because there was no snow and the temperatures were probably in the 50s low 50s but it was gorgeous in steamboat that and if you're a skier you're going ah it sucks there's no snow right now and there really hasn't been until I came back on monday and not only was it when i came back our flight land at 9 9 p.m here in Colorado, but it was negative, negative four degrees, and I was praying to God that my car would start. Yep, by the way, update, yep, engine light still on, and I don't know if I've mentioned this, I still only have one headlight, the other headlight's still not working, or, well, I haven't replaced it. There's an update for you. So, shitty ass dad, uh, the Tampa trip was really cool, again, because watching uh, many many of the dads bringing their their sons to this event and like it's you know maybe I'm biased but I like seeing that I like seeing the the bonding of of the dads with their with their sons there were some that did family trips and that's where I feel again like a sh- not not just a shitty ass dad but uh, uh, an asshole of a man because I am not right now a, a good provider to my family financially because it would have been nice it would have been really nice to maybe extend that trip a day and have the girls go with uh, to this event and looking forward uh, or let me rephrase that looking uh, back, and if if we could have done that financially, we could have rented our own house and just had a good old time. But I don't know. Maybe it's really weird. As of lately, I really haven't been going through any depression. It's, just, it's been really weird. Like that that fog has lifted and gone away. And I'm not saying. This isn't depression, in my opinion. This is more of just uh, feeling sorry for myself that things things in my my little world aren't going to my plan because I'm not executing my plan. I'm not following through, and I need to step up again. And I keep saying that, and I don't fucking do shit about it. I need a sip of coffee. Because I think, don't tell anybody, but I think I'm catching the fucking cold, too. I know you might be going, well, coffee isn't really going to benefit your cold here, but I know. But it's it's 5.50 in the morning. Fucking 9 degrees. When we left Tampa, the weather wasn't, uh, the weather was cold or Florida weather it was in uh, like the 50s and then of course the day we leave the day we leave was like in the upper 60s it was gorgeous uh, played uh, beach football with um, my buddy Nate his son Gabe uh, Connor myself uh, there was another dad Dave and his son uh, Arthur Dave didn't want to play football Dave just wanted to watch but oh my it was gorgeous on the beach gorgeous and if you have seen my Instagram at blending family you'll see my new uh, the new rock I carry in my pocket and let me let me just briefly talk about that if you've ever seen or read the book the secret they talk about um, just having some kind of I want to call it trinket to remind yourself of of being happy and maybe this will help me today so I have a new uh, rock 
in my in my pocket that I picked up from the beach to remind me of of the good times. Uh, before that, I, I have a, a rock from two years ago from the beach in San Diego where uh, Connor had, and, and the team he was playing on at that time had a tournament in San Diego. And, you know, every once in a while carrying that either rock, you know, just feeling maybe a little bit part, uh, sorry for myself if I could speak English. That's why that's why my blog suck because I can't write English. But, you know, just holding that rock and, and remembering uh, the good times of, of those weekends. And the boys did really well in the tournament. They actually uh, won their division, which was super cool. And it was a proud daddy moment. It was a super proud daddy moment because not only was Connor in net for uh, the championship game, but he earned the shutout uh, against the uh, other team. And I didn't realize, before the game started, I was talking to uh, this gentleman, and he was talking about uh, how his daughter lives in Colorado Springs, and he visits from time to time. And matter of fact, he, he said they, they go up to Steamboat to ski, but after the game, I ran into him again. His son was actually the goalie for the other team, and his son, even in a losing cause, that kid stood on his head. He, that kid played phenomenal. He, and I, I, I hope he gets uh, goaltending coaching uh, for that team because that kid, that kid, could become uh, an elite goaltender after watching uh, that that tournament and, and watching a few of uh, that team's games and unfortunately that team uh, did not uh, score many goals unfortunately um, they were just uh, they were uh, a bunch of kids put together and this was the first time they'd ever played a tournament where there was checking where there was hitting involved and I'm telling you that, that team had heart there was, there was a fight in that dog. They were just, a, just a great team to watch, and even their body language. I'm, I'm very um, observant of body language these days. It just fascinates me. And watching these kids, and even being down five to nothing, six to nothing, um, their body language was, we're in this. We're still fighting, and I wish more youth teams could see that and be inspired by that it was just you know just amazing to watch Tampa was a good trip uh, had a really good time um, spending with Connor our one-on-one times and you know one of the things I asked him and I and I know he meant it but we we had a very brief brief father-son moment of I simply asked him I mean, do we have a, a good relationship and he said yes I go no you got to tell me the truth and I know he was telling me the truth but I just want to emphasize it and he says oh yeah and it meant a lot to me just having that that little conversation but again this goes back to being a man this goes back to where I feel I'm failing as a man and I'm failing my family because I don't have the financial, um, what am I trying to say? Uh, not independence, but uh, the, the, I hate to use the word better. It's like saying, hey, that's more better. Good English. I guess more of a financial comfort be how I want to phrase it and that's how I'm going to phrase it and to be able to do things so for example um, my buddy Nate who Connor and I stayed with in San Diego last time we did uh, Airbnb I want to say it was Airbnb ish but we rented a it was this was super cool we rented a, a one-bedroom house in San Diego 
and it was it was so much fun so much fun we had great weather it was funny because Nate tried to sleep outside and it got too cold for him but it was it was just again a great bonding moment right around the corner there was this awesome awesome uh, Mexican bakery we would go to uh, each morning to get some breakfast Nate doesn't drink coffee. I drink coffee. And I'll go there, grab a cup of coffee. It was just so much fun just having uh, quality time with Connor and watching another uh, father-son with Nate and his son Gabe. It was just a great, great time. And I think that's why... When I think of San Diego, I think of uh, great memories because when Ann and I got married, we did a honeymoon in San Diego, but we made it a honeymoon slash family trip. And I'll never forget uh, Ann and I having this conversation of, well, what was your highlight of the trip? And I said, oh, just watching the kids bonding, watching the kids getting along. And Ann said, my highlight is when the kids didn't get along because they were acting just like brother and sisters, just like they were truly blood related. And that was like a huge aha moment. And it was just, you know, you know, a, a, a great memory, great memory, and who knows? Hey, maybe you know what? Maybe San Diego uh, tourism. You need to sponsor this podcast. There we go. Uh, speaking of sponsors, I'm. I, I think what I need to do is just emphasize uh, a couple of businesses I would love to have as sponsors. Like I think it's Harry's. Harry's uh, razors and picked up uh, a little a kit from Harry's and I think she said it was like 10 bucks at Target where she got the razor and, and I think it was just two blades and I borrowed one of the blades to shave with because I was out of blades and I didn't want to spend you know 30 bucks on new blades and I used Harry's I, I borrowed uh, the spare blade, and my gosh, what a great shave. It was a great shave. And then the other one, if you've heard me talk about, uh, is Headspace. I love Headspace. I love using that meditation app. So we got Target, San Diego Tourism, Harry's, Headspace. We need sponsorship for this podcast need some sponsorship for this podcast all right what else i think that's pretty much it i really want to talk about tampa want to talk about uh what it was uh, a great trip just watching uh, a lot of bonding with families and dads and like i said we had we had a mom and son uh on the trip and it, overall, Tampa was a good trip. I really wish the weather was better so we could have done a little bit more uh, activities other than <laughs> driving to and fro to a, the ranks in, in the uh, uh, Clearwater area. Oh my gosh, I, did, I do need to mention this. Clearwater, Florida, your ranks are freaking cold. Freaking fucking cold. Oh my gosh. We thought uh, one of the rinks that uh, uh, our, our team plays at, it's called the Red Rink, and it's cold. But one of the rinks in, in uh, Florida that we were playing at, we played, uh, not, ma- well, I want to say majority of, you could see your breath. That's how fucking cold it was. You could see your breath. Wow. All right. I'm I'm trying to recap as I'm driving here. Tampa, 
I'm a shitty ass dad renting space in my head we need sponsorship that's what we need we need sponsorship Uh, oh again sales I'm gonna warn you I'm gonna uh, sales Amazon buy my books buy my books yeah I'm spamming you I gotta be honest with you because maybe maybe you'll find um because technically when I, I'm going to say we, we have three books out there. Um, two are my books, and then the kids' book, 10 Tips on How to Survive Your Parents' Divorce, the coloring book. Come on. Come on. Don't, don't, be, uh, don't be cheap. Uh, the month of January, I, should, I need to do a, another, or maybe, ooh, there's a there's a blog post right there talking about the month of January, which is uh, where a majority of divorces are filed. The month of January, this one divorces are filed because you get through the holidays. You don't want to wreck the holidays, you know, with with the kids. So the majority of divorces are filed in January, and. You know, maybe one of the books, 10 Tips on How to Survive Your Parents' Divorce from the Kids, or uh, my first book, 25 Tips for Divorced Dads, uh, can help you out as well. All right. Well, thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for sharing. Um, email Tommy at BlendingFamily.com. Tommy at BlendingFamily.com. Facebook. And the uh, Twitter and Instagram. Well, let's talk Facebook first. Blending the family uh, with an S at the end, so it's blending the families on Facebook. Instagram and Twitter, blended family, blended family. Find us there. Thanks for listening. My name is Tommy Maloney. Enjoy the rest of your day. Stay warm, Colorado. Stay warm.